Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley. Welcome to Sneak Peek Week. This week we are talking about this adorable little thing, the timeout tank. The hero of this tank is the amazing wide binding. Now, if you're apprehensive about binding, please don't be. This is not difficult. I have a video to guide you through it. <laughs> Can you hear the crows? <laughs> um, I have a video to guide you through it step by step as well as the instructions in the tutorial. And I give you all my little tips, like where I hold my hands, what to feel for with your fingers, um, things to keep in mind that will have you sewing up wide binding in no time. So why do we all love this tank so much? It's got these gorgeous cutaway um, holes and at the back as well. And then it's got a classic crew neck it's the perfect blend between what we've been seeing in fashion over the last year and a half, two years. So we love and embrace athleisure wear, so athletic wear worn in our everyday lives. We then um, embraced lounge wear kind of because we had to. So we've gotten used to being comfortable. So now as people are going back to work, they still want to be comfortable. Or even if you're working from home and you've got Zoom meetings and you have to look great from here up. Um, or, you know, racing out to buy something or meeting with friends or just hanging around at home. The reason we love these um, relaxed tops is that we can blend our work attire and our lounge attire and our athletic attire all together in one. And this top is the perfect top to do that. Now, talk about a scrap buster. Every single size that we've got, so we've done size four to 26, we're slowly expanding our range of sizes. Um, and they all take 90 centimeters, which is about a yard. So that is pretty fabulous in itself. Now, on top of that, the amount of fabrics that you can use is so wide. It does need to be four-way stretch knit fabrics to do the binding so there are a lot of fabrics for instance your viscose modal bamboo rayon elastanes all of those fantastic and they're so beautiful to wear on your body and they breathe and then you've got your double brush poly and your single brush poly double brush poly single brush poly amazing in this top probably i would say the easiest to use just because it's so stable and it's so lovely and soft to wear. So it has a lot going for it. Um, definitely cotton lycra. I personally would stay as low GSM as possible. Once you're getting up over 200, um, it does, you can definitely do it, but it does get a little bit um, less malleable around the armholes and the neckline. So it might stand up a little bit more. Um, what else have I got? I have a glitter one. You could use a sweater knit. You could use a scuba, a Liverpool, as long as they have enough resilience for the bands. But even if they don't, use a contrast fabric. Use like, you know, a bamboo or a modal elastane um, for your bands, for your bindings. And then the scuba and contrast it. Um, the thing that I'm really liking too is a lot of people tend to contrast in a darker colour. Contrast in a lighter colour. Give it a go. The background colour of your fabric, contrast in that, or even, you know, just the, the softest colour in your print. Um, that can look amazing to contrast with. And then I've also done a swim top, so in swim fabric, which, which just as I'm saying it, you could probably use it as a swim top with a little pair of swimmers and actually stay tuned for Mal Stevens. Um, adorable adorable mash that she has done it mixes and matches back with so many of our pieces whether you want to layer it under or over if you've got something that has a really wide neck and like sits off your shoulders it looks amazing try it with um the game on looks really really good um, i've got one to show you obviously you can wear your cardigans to layer over the top and that's what the girls in the us have been doing and in, in europe they've been layering their my embrace um, or their songbirds over the top in like a warmer fabric. Now you're probably wondering about your bra, what bra to wear. Um, for me, I am small busted. I wear 
those soft seam free bras and I either buy the ones that clip up at the back so that it pulls the straps in or I just get a little bit of like hat elastic or a little bit of elastic even a paper clip and just clip that through the back and so it pulls my straps in underneath the straps of the shoulder. The other ladies have used um, those multi bras so they you can unclip and cross them over. Um, some ladies have used their sports bras their or their racerback bras or crop tops um, and strapless bras. So there are a lot of um, options that you can use. You just want it to come in close to your neck so that you have that lovely uninterrupted line. Okay, let's talk about the tops. Let's get stuck into it. The first one I've made is out of a viscose elastane. Really, really stretchy and really, really soft. And it was probably the second one I made up to test whether a viscose elastane would work beautifully. Works really, really beautifully. Um, as you can see, it's very, very stretchy. <laughs> um, and it just worked so well. You can see, see my beautiful binding. And as I said, don't be scared. It's not. It's not difficult and I show you how. Um, you can see the back there. So just so just a little bit cut away, not, not racer. Um, and then, as I said, the classic crew neck. Um, and I have teamed it here, as I said, with the heart light skirt and I've just tucked it in. Um, I just did the elastic from the follow me skirt. Um, you know, just thin 10 centimeters, pop the elastic through it with that little, you know, that little trick at the back. Um, love this outfit and of course with my little Adidas shoes off I go now if you wanted to create a fake jumpsuit this is the outfit to do it with the palazzo pants and I've just got it right up at the waist belt over the waist tucked in and I just love that just easy breezy, dressed up, and you are super, super comfortable in this beautiful, soft viscose, which quite clearly is one of my favorite fabrics. And then for work attire, teamed back with a basic black palazzo pant. This is, um, these are in crepe knit. And again, I've just got the same belt. You can, belted, non-belted, it's a semi-fitted silhouette. Um, so yeah, anything goes. And belted, belted, tucked in and belted, amazing. And it elongates those legs. So you have like the short and then the long, and it just balances out a little bit, gives you a little bit more height. I always feel I look so tall like this and I'm not tall at all. And here it is just worn out naturally over the top with my palazzos. Now, if you wanted to pop another layer on top, the game on top is awesome. You've got the whole shoulder action happening here. You've got this little pop of print or color through the top and you're lovely and colored still. Next up, we have basic black. This is a beautiful, thick bamboo elastane fabric, and it is so lovely to wear in this top. You can use a light or a heavier weight um, in bamboo. Both work just as well as each other. And I've paired them here with um, the pleats to meet you pants in the double brush poly. Now, the reason I've paired this together is to show you work. So. I'm comfortable. The pleats to meet you pants, they look like your business pants from the outside. They've got these lovely pleats and lovely deep pockets and a tapered leg. But they're super, super relaxed and comfortable. And then you pair it back with um, the timeout top in a knit and you look chic and dressed up, but you're super, super comfortable. And that is 2021 in a nutshell. So here I've tucked it in, added some boots, 
added my belt and I can go to a meeting feeling totally comfortable but still appropriately dressed. And then if it's cold, I will just put a jacket on over the top. And then worn out, just as gorgeous. It still fits beautifully over the pleats to match your pants. And then you can look relaxed and sporty and comfortable and casual with your palazzos. Um, this is in a double brush poly. Sneakers on your feet. And it's just easy. And black is such a great color to wear on top if you've got a statement piece on the bottom. So, super casual on the weekend, favorite denim shorts, getting a little bit cold. This is like a boss, so bat wing, and then fitted through the hips. And I've done the really wide neck. Love this look where you can see all my layers. I'm a little bit warmer. And as you change seasons, having these options is great. And with the game on top in um, a warmer sweater type knit, again, great for changing of the season. And if the flared game on is more your speed, um, this is in scuba. And of course, it goes without saying that it's an awesome option for the gym, for yoga, for Pilates, for exercising or for that nice leisurely walk around the park and of course you have the fabulous my embrace for that extra layer of warmth time for a little bit of color how good is this um this is a really really light um cotton jersey so um, it's really soft, it was really easy to sew, super easy to wear, like it's very relaxed on my body, but still, you know, you can see my form, which I find with a lot of cotton lycra that you can't, like when you go up over 200. Now, one of the things with prints, be mindful of the print. So grab your piece of fabric, stand in front of the mirror and just place it different ways along the fabric and work out where the print looks best. And for this one, for me, I thought it looked great down with the stripe down the centre, um, but there's all sorts of different things on different prints that you can be mindful about where your print is sitting. Um, this is the symphony skirt in um, a Liverpool, so it's quite, it holds its body quite well. My lovely bindings. I sewed two in cotton lycra and I definitely preferred this one, the lighter one. Um, I just found it fit better around the curve of my neckline, just having that softer, finer fabric. Now this is my second cotton lycra one. It is thicker. It is a 200 and then I used, I'm pretty sure that's a 200 as well. Now what I love about this one is it's firm. So if you are after something firmer, then using a, a 200, 220 um, cotton lycra is great. So you can see these beautiful contrast bindings. And the beautiful thing about using a contrast, especially a surprising contrast, is it goes with so many more clothes. So for those of you with heaps of cotton lycra in your stash, you can definitely make this top with cotton lycra. And of course, for a casual top, cotton lycra is going to always pair so nicely back with denim, just for ease, weekend comfort. Now, a swim fabric is always going to be firmer than other fabrics, but that's what you want. Um, so for clarity on sizing, a lot of people ask whether to size up or not. I am at the bottom end of the range for my upper bust. And I'm at the top end of my range through my hips and I'm at the mid end of the range through my bust and I stayed my size. It is nice and firm through here. It's got a little bit of room through my hips and just lovely and easy to wear. The binding worked 
nicely, as you can see. And it's just easy, easy, comfortable to wear. I'm not flashing anyone. I can stretch and bend and move around and I'm not flashing. Let's talk double brush poly. Double brush poly is easy to sew, lovely to wear. It's beautifully soft and the colors are awesome. You can get some really, really great prints in double brushed and single brush poly. Um, you can see the bands, the bindings sewed up really beautifully. And I've just teamed it back with store-bought pants. And more double brush poly, gorgeously soft, super, super comfortable, makes awesome weekend wear. And like I said before, the colors, they're just, you can just get so many colors and it holds its color because it's polyester, so it's not going to fade. And then all blended together with the game on. You can see the theme of the green running through each piece and blending it all together. An awesome plus for this pattern is the amount of fabric it uses. So whether you've got a, a subscription box where you get a meter or you have some scraps left over from something large that you've cut out, um, this one here is a double brush poly and it was just left over from a couple of other projects and I had just enough. And again, it's just lovely, soft, bands beautiful, easy for weekend wear. And last but not least, we have a little bit of glamour. I've used um, a glitter knit and this one has elastane in it, so it's nice and stretchy. And then I've just used the bamboo from earlier for my bands just to frame it. And with the palazzos, t-shirt and chackies going out. Essentially, stretch pants, stretch top. And it's like our own secret. And then just worn loose. And then I do love it with this skirt as well. It's just fresh, soft, comfortable, a little bit girly, and just easy to wear. So that is it. Now, our giveaway. To enter our giveaway, all you have to do is comment. You can comment here on the YouTube video. You can comment on the group post attached to this video and you will automatically go in the draw to win one of the time out top patterns. Now from tomorrow morning our testers begin sharing their photos and as part of our giveaway as well all you need to do is comment on their photos and again you will automatically go in the draw to win one of these patterns and that is drawn on Thursday just before the pattern release. Now as I said the pattern release is Thursday so 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. At the top of the website, you will see a pink banner. And on that is a countdown to when the pattern release starts. And then once it starts, it's a countdown to when it finishes. Um, and you will also find a countdown in your emails if you're signed up for those. Now, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the red button so you don't miss out on these style videos, but also little videos that I've started to put up with just little helpful hints um, on sewing different patterns in our range. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the group. Bye.